Good morning. So um, the last time I was recording, I was um, playing with uh, Wales App Builder, um, which is where have we got that? Oh, there. Um, it's over here at Wales.app. Mm. And it's a way of um, building a desktop application um, with uh, a go back end and a JavaScript front end. Um, so you can use any kind of framework or whatever you like. Um, so it's in interesting to me because, you know, I like Svelte and I like Go. So you could put the two together. Um, and on my last recording, I was basically trying to get to the point of trying to help um, this person here who has been trying to build a flat pack out of a Wales built app um, and they're getting some problems there. Um, and I think I was at the point of um, I had been playing with um, the app um, and then I was trying to get to the point of being able to build the flat pack. Um, but I didn't have the SDKs and things you need in place. Um, and I just ran out of time. Um, uh, and from the looks of things, the SDK I went for is end of life. Um, so I should probably not use that. So before I have a little look at some of the stuff we did and get onto that, I will use a later one, I think. To switch it to 38, 3.38. I'll not go for 40 um, just because I don't know whether um, Wales is built for GTK 4. It's probably GTK 3. I don't know, but I'll, I'll play it safe for the moment. Um, so we'll try this. So that might take a little bit of time to download. It did last time. Okay, yeah, so it's bunch of stuff there. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, um, let's go have a look at what we did last time. Okay, uh, I'll just get um, going and up and running so we can have some nice visuals. Okay, so here is the flat pack manifest. I'm just going to switch that while I remember to one time three dot thirty eight. I'll just save that. Um, and a Wales app just has a main, uh, which is very basic. Even has a basic function in this thingy, but anyway, um, starts up uh, a Wales app. Um, and then binds this basic function um, and then runs the app. So I haven't looked into Wales yet, um, but it looks pretty handy. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then you have a front end. Um, and in this case, I went for a Svelte front end. So it's the usual stuff. You've got um, a script block main um, HTML, which is the main body of your Svelte app, because Svelte is just HTML with a bit of decoration. Um, and then it's got some styling at the end there. That's all from a template that came with the Wales uh, runtime uh, CLI. So um, I think now oh, it's ready to build up, but we'll just check this. So. Um, You'll see what we've we got here. Um, we've got no build. That's interesting. I'll check that out in a second. I think I know what happened there. Um, but a Wales app, you just do Wales build. And it checks all the dependencies and builds it. Um, and now we have a build directory. 
Uh, it's got a binary in it. And I should be able to run that. There we go. We have it. Hello world. Okay. Now, on the flat pack side of things, so we've just downloaded the platform and the SDK for 3.38. So I think, and this, this skinny little manifest that we got here <laughs> um, is basically um, taken from this person's manifest here with just hello Wales changed to Wales flat pack, which is what I'm using for the binary and name and stuff. Um, I've just updated this uh, runtime for the GNOME to 3.38 to make it a later one, because that's well out of date. Um, so I can, uh, we'll get to it in a second, but I can already see why this is not working. Um, but I'll just uh, reproduce the error and then I'll fix it. I have just noticed. Okay, um, I'm probably a little bit, I would say it's, I'm not so awake, but I feel, I noticed that anyway. Okay, um, so now we have the runtime. And the last time that I ran the builder, okay, yeah. So I did flat pack builder build and then my manifest file um, and I'm install it in user um, and I'm forced cleaning the build directory which is where my binary is so that's not going to work um, I think that's right let me just check um, But I think directory do you have to have do you have to put the directory then it looks like it in a directory which you can export to a repository with the flatback build export command if you use repo blah 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 okay yeah so that directory needs to change on that because I already have that so, well, we've got a build. Um, let's call it just package. Let's try that. So in theory, all right, so that worked. Yep, so just, so we now have a package directory there. But more importantly, we should have it installed. So to pack list Wales flat pack. And my ID is coming in, in um, Jones Wales flat pack. So that's what I've got to run. So flat pack run come die. There we go. Yeah, and this is what <clears throat> this is what the person having the problem with their packaging as flat pack had. They had all these things going on where basically web view is not getting found. Um and all this kind of stuff. I have a feeling that that's because the manifest doesn't have any permissions. 
So in um, I've got let's go to my snippet pixie one. Right, I'm on develop, so make sure I'm just going to switch to my <laughs> semi abandoned flat pack branch. Reason being, Snippy Pixie needs permissions that flat pack just will not allow, but um, if I look at the manifest, there's this thing called finish arcs. Actually, let's um, all right, that's better. So you need to have permissions. You need to set permissions for flat pack. You need to say, I want this application to be allowed to do these things. And the basic thing that you need to do is allow it to talk to the window manager, X11 or Wayland. Um, and that manifest is not doing it. So I need this. Don't need any of this other stuff yet, uh, because I mean, that's all Snippet Pixie specific stuff. Um, and I don't need all to start and all that kind of thing. So I think <laughs> There's a good chance that that might do it, but we'll see. I mean, we haven't done um, any other stuff here yet, so uh, so we'll just stick it. Okay, what's going on? Thank you. Yeah. I think I've just crashed that. Just quit it. Interesting. Wonder how I did that. Okay. Well, that's crashing itself. We'll just update this here. Right, so that's okay. One IPC socket. Uh, yep. So in theory, um, I just need to rebuild. Uh, and it does an automatic install. That's the one. And I should give it the permissions. Hmm. It's half there. Looks like there's some problems though. Hmm. I wonder if that's because I'm running in TMAX and stuff there. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Let's um let's just open basic gnome terminal and let's grab yeah I'm just gonna do that. Let's try it here. No, same thing. Okay. G 
GLX. Don't know what that is. WebKit web process received an X when system error. Hmm. Don't know. Interested in uh, why that's not going either. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's back, is it? I wonder if I've got a little problem going on with mine. Is that still going to do its thing? It seems to be stuck. I wonder if I've. Uh, I was doing a couple of things this morning. Come on, just die. I wonder if it's causing problems. Alright, so what did we have in the manifest? Let's double check. I didn't do anything silly there. Got 38. Can't see any problem there. Let's make sure this thing's dying. Come on. Might have to get a shot of it. I think that's the root one. Start off nice. It's not having it. Let's do that one. Oh. Do one by one, get shot. What? It be gone. Don't suppose that will make any difference though. There's something weird going on with how it's talking to the driver. Okay, well, 
No, that's gone. Let's quickly check. No, it's doing the same thing. Hmm, so that might be a little bit out of my comfort zone. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. One thing you sometimes need to do. Oh, I'm using. I'm using NVIDIA on here. So, yes. I need. talk to the driver. Let's try that. And do, 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 do. Build it again. And run. There we go. Cool. And does it work as usual? It does. Weird that it does that little bit there though. I wonder if that's the same on uh, a native. Let's do this here. Yep. Hmm. It's not removing the dim there, is it? Anyway, well, we're close. Um. Let's get going and end up again. I want to just double check that's working. No, I it might not be happy now that I've killed it off. wonder what that was about. All right, it's doing his indexing now. Okay, I'll leave that to do its thing. It's busy. Hmm. Maybe the updates and stuff I did this morning uh, mean I need to reboot. Uh, I did my update a few things. Okay, so we've actually got to a point where oh, I need to update, add that to the thing So, we now have a working flat pack. Well, I'm just going to save that away just so I remember that. Uh, add a Working uh, a flat pack best flat packages local binary. Okay, because that's not the great, the best way of doing things. So it's okay if you've got um, a local binary, and then you can do something to promote it. But if you want to put that manifest um if you wanted to put that manifest on WhatsApp or something, it's not gonna work because it's not gonna have the local binary to work with. 
So a better way of doing things is in the build for the module, you build the binary, um, which would be interesting. Don't know how you do that with Go. Um, On a snap, you can, it's got built in um, like type for building go things. So I want to flat pack as, uh, is this documentation? Let's see. Nope. I think this is a thing called extensions. I looked at them before. Oh, yeah, I have electron. Oh, how do you use that one? to install the extension node one. All right then, so it is, have I got flat hub open anywhere here? No. Oh yeah, I was looking at someone's building WebKit. They don't need to do that. All uh, right, so. Hub go lang. In the code and YAML. There's an extension. Oh, well, that one's using node extension as well. Sync thing. So. Going enable. Okay, so you have to enable it and then you can build. What's all this vendory stuff then? Oh, this is all the dependencies. I have a feeling <laughs> that the Wells app has a bunch of dependencies, so that that might get rather long. All right, we'll come back to that. So the first thing I need to do is I need to do this. Is actually use the extension. Actually, before we do that, I'd like to see what that script does. Um, let's, what's the... Okay, that was mine. Um, let's go... Yeah, I'll just reuse this. Fine. What's the bit in it? It's on flat pack. Uh, flat hub. Positories, it is. I probably would have seen that on the previous one. OK, 
Okay, so... There was no script there. So downloads go... Does the do... Oh, that's the script. Okay. So it's actually, oh, all it's doing is a go route and a path change. And then sticking that somewhere that you can use it. So it's just a convenience thing. So you're just calling that to do that. Which you will need to find go. Because it'll be in there. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Um, has this finished doing its thing? Oh, it's not happy at all today. Um, right, oh, hold on. Right, so we are clean. We just have, we do have the package there and we do have a build get rid of that in a minute. Yeah. So, SDK, then we want this new SDK. That's good. It's two spaces, not tabs. Um, right, so I'm going to be building now. So um, I need to not do this. I need to do like I did on Snippet Pixie, which is a dire directory. Oh, there we go, it's over there. And I'm just using the current path. Um, and now I actually need to do it. Um, I guess before this, and what was the path for that script? All right, so it's doing a source of it and then doing the go build in the same process otherwise you ain't gonna get it okay yeah because each of these lines here I presume is a different shell execution so you're gonna those exports probably aren't available here but that doesn't matter. I can just do the go build. Actually, why? Oh yeah, you want to do it on go build. Yeah, I think that'll work because Not a lot of requirements. All right, I'll give it a go. So I should have a flat pack built here still. One builder package. Do 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 do. Full screen. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go, another one. All right, sudo bat pack install this thing. Found similar refs, yes. Uh, I want the 2008 one, because that's my base and it's also the latest by looks of things there. Okay, 
That's not too much there. It's interesting that it's on a base, a kind of expected version in there. Like, you know, 1.17 or 1.16. But I guess that makes sense. You want to have it always a coherent base. Uh, right, so now we can run that again in the build. And what? Well, that's nuts. Uh, it exists, so it must be a flat pack sandbox thing. Oh, that would be why the vendoring is done in that thing, isn't it? I bet it can't. I bet it's limited as to why it can pull from. I bet. It can't just pull from any old thing then. Well, it's not doing an any old thing. Hmm, well, it's not using curl though either. I bet that's like. done with checks and things. <sighs> what do we do? I don't know. Go mod vendor V. Let's see what that's gonna mean. Uh, go help mod vendor. Vendor resets the main module's vendor directory to include all packages needed to build and test all the main module's packages. It does not include test code. Right. V first of all, vendor print names vendor modules. Causes vendor to attempt to process despite errors encountered. Okay. So what does this vendor thing do then? Um, go... Oh, build. Module download mode to use. Read only vendor or mod. By default, if a vendor directory is present and the Go version in Go mod is 1.14 or higher, which we do, the Go command acts as if mod vendor were set. Otherwise, the Go command acts as if Mod read only percent. What okay? What does that mean though? Now we're back to that.
Totally don't want to ignore the vendor directory and whatever. Tells the government to use the vendor directory. In this part of the go command will not use the network or the module cache. That's useful. Okay. So if we're having network issues in the flat pack build, we have a vendor directory. So Okay, so, but go mod vendor. What's that going to do then? What have we got? We've got nothing at the moment. Go mod vendor minus V, so we know what it's doing. Oh, okay. A bunch of things. Explicitly, yeah, because that's the one. <laughs> that is the one we need. Everything else is coming in as a dependency of this, I guess. And we've got a vendor directory. It's in there then. Oh. Wow, okay. It's just like a composer vendor directory. So, does that mean I'm done? If I do, will that go build just pick up that vendor directory and do the do? Let's find out. This my build. That's promising. So I just done it. Okay. Where's my flat pack one? Should have just done the run. It would have been quicker. But, oh, oh, there we go. Well, that seems to have worked. Okay, let's um. Oh, right, here's a test. If I take out that build, actually. Um, right, has the thingy finished doing its thing yet? Oh, it has. Okay, is it working? Yay! All right, quick refresh just in case there. Okay. Right, so we're doing that thing there. What about if I make a little change so we know? Yeah. So I believe that will return a different thing now. So I do flat pack world. Okay. We'll save that. Okay. We have no build directory to install yet. And we've changed it. So if the flat pack build does its thing, the prompt should be different now. Just make sure it's actually doing the build and not using the install from previous thing. So what do we have? Okay, we don't have a build because it was done in the sandbox, hopefully. Is there. Hello. Flat pack world. Cool. Okay.
that's good. Well, that worked. Um, but that's... Is that a good idea, having the vendor there or not? I presume... So if I added that, so if I did... Right, type get. Okay, so if I added one of those for the whales, that's not going to do it though, is it? Because it'll need all the other dependencies. Where's that coming from? Have they got a um, vendor diet modules? No, oh, they have. Right, okay. One. We got one, two, three, four. There's three there as well. One. Two. Three. Four. And then the actual code. So only the explicit ones are there. That would be good. I can't imagine that these things are going to be failing if I don't do them. Well... Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? So let's do a quick, quick go with just the dependence we dependency we expect, which is this. And we will 
translate this and just move it here. Get rid of the vendor directory. Um, and then Why is that complaining? Why? Okay, we'll come back to that later. Sources, so type git url https colon board right there snap that in tag that i think that's right Type URL tag. I'm not going to put a commit on. We'll see what happens on that. Because a tag and a commit doesn't make sense. Okay. We'll try that. So, um, But I do need to do the module thing that type file path destination vendor file path dest. Let's try that as well. So Test. And then we've got the main sources. Right, I don't think this is going to work. I think it's going to complain that, that it needs all the other ones. And then I'm just going to revert to the append function. <laughs> Uh, because that's just too much to put in here at the moment. And so, what have we got? We are good to go. There's nothing extra in there. Yeah. Hmm. What if how many modules was it? I was 
Ausgang ergeben. So normally I don't think that's a valid tag. Or is it? Didn't think so. So that's a problem. These are all valid tags. Whereas that is like a temporary one. He's in a commit. Yeah, that's too much mucking about that. So, um, certainly for this experiment, we'll go back to um, modules. Shut that. Make it nice and simple. <clears throat> yeah. And then we need to do the go mod and uh, minus V. Now I have a vendor directory. Let's build it. And one over here. go. Good stuff. Okay. Let's um, we'll just add it all because it's a vendor directory. So this is like the version that goes with this build. It's a whole bunch of stuff, isn't it? Right. Um, this will, okay, 
enable build of application with Say, uh, no, then dot modules. Eh, this is around. Was it proxy? I think it's proxy, wasn't it? Proxy dot carolang dog. There is likely. Ah. proxy.golang.org, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Wow, it's a lot bigger now. Smart. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I should probably put this somewhere. So let's put it on uh, GitHub, I guess. So that I can then pass that off to someone. So... Just to get my own one, I guess. I will Yeah, I will do it here. Wheels flat pack a No. Package in a Wales app. That's that. Pack. Public. Read me. No. Done it. No. No. Don't care. Um, actually, I better let's put a license in. Maybe I can do that later. Because it's going to be annoying to push otherwise, isn't it? Yeah. Make it empty. All right, so done all that. Oh, he wants a main branch? What have I got? Master.
So I presume that's going to switch. Uh, git help. Uh, move. Okay. Fine. Git branch minus m main done. Thing main D. Get rid of my add origin. I think I'm a good. Don't think I need to do it afterwards. God, if I do um, which might say hopefully I haven't got a master. No. Okay. So, get remote add origin, blah blah blah. Do it, and then it should be a, just a push. Eh? Yeah and update to make sure we're tracking. Done. All safe, hopefully. Uh, refresh. There we go. All right, let's add a readme. Where is that thingy? Okay, and later on I'll update it with uh, info about this video and stuff once I actually have it uploaded and stuff. That I do. And can I add a license? Do the do. No. Hmm. I just want to quickly add a. Is there not a way to add a license these days? I thought you could. I just want to add. I'll do it later. I guess. Unless I can do it here. Little, 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 do, 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 equations, related environment secrets. Nope. Okay. Oh, well, doesn't matter for the time being. Uh, right. Well, that's it. That's good. Um, so hopefully now I'm going to go post to there here and uh, tell them how to do it, which is effectively just adding the, um, the finish arcs, uh, but then, uh, to mat this as well uh, because we now have um, something with four commits so the skeleton app then I actually got up and running and then I enabled with vendor modules so it actually rebuilds which is neat <clears throat> so um, that uh 
great success. <laughs> uh, didn't expect that, to be honest. <laughs> I thought I might fail on my attempt, but kind of got it going, um, which is great. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care.